Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the best contract length for Facebook ads agencies or Facebook ad service providers to use when they're signing up new clients. How long should you make that initial contract? If you're offering Facebook ad services, you're a Facebook ads agency, you're taking on a new Facebook ads client or looking to take on a new Facebook ads client, how long should that be? Should it be a month, six months, etc.? I'm going to cover that in this video. If you're an agency owner, you offer services, I think you're going to find this really, really valuable. Before I get into that, I just want to very quickly ask you to smash that like button and of course subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't done so already. So for the longest time and through a lot of my the process of building my own Facebook ads agency, Lead Guru, I went with a one month initial contract and then a month to month rolling contract thereafter. So basically a client, once they've gone through that first month, could cancel at any time, we would finish it out the month um, and that's basically how we operated. And I think that when you're building your customer base, when you're building your reputation in the industry, when you're looking to gain experience, looking to uh, do great work that you can turn into case studies, turn into testimonials, those are things that are really, really important in the Facebook ads agency game. If you want to attract and retain high quality clients, you need those things. I think starting with a one month initial contract and then a one month and then a month to month rolling basis after that makes a lot of sense. Now, I can almost sort of hear the um, reservations about that. You might be thinking, but hang on a minute, if I just go with a one month initial contract, um, aren't clients going to leave straight away? And, and some will, some will um, not have the patience to see it through, won't have the right attitude towards Facebook advertising or any form of marketing where they just want instant results and aren't willing to to give it much patience. What I would say is that a lot of those clients you're probably going to lose anyway, um, just because of what I said, if they don't have the right attitude towards the process and they expect you know, you to turn on Facebook ad campaigns and then produce fantastic results within the first couple of days, which we've certainly had and you will have if you work with enough clients, there's basically nothing you can do to help those those clients anyway, right? It's completely impossible to, um, to keep those guys happy. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about losing clients um, earlier than you otherwise would. The flip side of having longer term contracts and the negatives of having long term contracts include things like, let's say, for example, you get a client on a six month initial contract. What happens if you're two months in and you can't really deliver results for them? And it's quite clear that whatever it is they're looking to do perhaps just won't work. You know, this does happen. Everyone wants to think that whenever you work with a client, it's always going to go swimmingly. Well, sometimes clients will launch unproven products or services in a marketplace. We've had this before. And sometimes those products or services, there's just not demand for them or there's not demand for them at the price point at which they're selling them. And you have to sort of come to the conclusion and go, this offer just isn't going to work. It doesn't matter how good the Facebook and Instagram advertising campaigns are this offer just isn't going to work and you're going to have to go back to the drawing board. What are you going to do in that situation where you work that out after two or three months? Um, if you've got a six month contract, it becomes very difficult. You don't want to keep working with those people. Likewise, even if you are doing good work and you are making progress, but the client doesn't believe that you are, which again happens, and they want to be, uh, you know, they, they want to leave. You don't want to be working with someone that closely because of contractual obligation where um, you're sort of tying them in and, and making them work with you longer because of a piece of paper that you've got signed as opposed to them wanting to be there. That's just not a situation that you want to be in. That's something that you that you want to avoid. Now, there are good. So that, those are sort of the reasons why I think for the majority of Facebook ads agencies, the majority of Facebook advertisers, um, you want to stick to that initial just a one month contract and then rolling basis. In fact, actually, there's a couple more points I'll, I'll talk about that before I move on to the pros and cons of the longer term contract and what I'd recommend you potentially move to later on. Another advantage to offering short term contracts, so one month and then followed by month by month by month, is that sometimes you will get clients that only want to advertise for a short period of time. This typically happens in the run up to Christmas or something like that, where a client will just want to run a campaign for a month or six weeks, etc. Well, you can still work with those people. Another advantage is it makes you look very confident in your own services and your ability to achieve. You know, when you're having those sales calls with your prospects and they say, how long are your contracts? Something you get asked all the time. You can go, uh, well, we actually just start with a one month contract and then go on a month to month basis. And you can say, look, we're really confident in our ability to produce. If we're not able to demonstrate we do good work after month one, then you can you can move on, you can leave. Uh, but we're very confident we're able to do that. And that's why we offer really short initial one month contracts. Um, a lot of clients will like to hear that. They will feel confident. They don't feel, A, they'll feel that you're confident in your ability. B, they don't feel that 
taking as large a risk. If you get someone to sign up for a six month or a 12 month contract, that's a big financial outlay that they're going to be signing up for. If you say, look, we go one month and then month to month to month, um, you're going to sign up more clients as a result because the risk is lower. They feel like they can try you out. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So there are a lot of advantages to having those short term contracts for Facebook advertising services. Now, as an agency, we have decided to change our contract length, not to go with a really long contract. We're not signing in people up for say 12 months we've currently got a three month initial contract and then a rolling basis we may look to extend that to six months and the reason why and, and the reason why i've sort of advocated for shorter contracts and that the reason why we've moved is because we want to be more selective over the type of business that we work with and that wants to work with us so whilst you will sign up more clients with a short initial contract of one month perhaps some of those clients when you're a more established business like we are you actually don't really want to work with as much because they're people that are testing things out, that aren't very confident in their product or service, that are hoping for overnight success and then potentially going to, you know, if it doesn't happen immediately, which it very rarely does, as, as you'll know, as a Facebook ads agency owner or a service provider watching this video, you know, overnight success is 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 basically unheard of. These things take time. Um, we don't want to work with those clients. And, and we are in, as a business, we are in a very fortunate position. The presence I have in the industry and the audiences that I've built, hundreds of thousands of people strong, mean that we have more demand for our services than we have supply. So we can afford to be more selective in the clients that we work with, which is a fantastic position and, and there are ways you can do it. And I can show you how you go about getting into that place for sure. But that's why we've taken that decision to increase our contract length. It's not gonna help us sign up more clients. Um, it's there are definitely disadvantages to it, but it does make you more selective over the clients you work with. It's not something I would have done three or four years ago. Absolutely not. I wanted the short term client contracts. I wanted to get more clients in. I wanted more case studies. I wanted more testimonials. I wanted all this stuff that's really important that we now have for our business to be able to succeed and operate. Um, but you need to, there's no one size fits all. Just like with Facebook advertising strategy, there's no run this funnel, it works for everyone. No, you need the right funnel for the type of business. Just like with your agency, you need the right approach for where you're at along the journey. You know, when you've got a company with, you know, 20, 25 people like, like we do at the moment, um, and you've got a full team of creative experts and account managers and people who can implement um, and you can scale and you've got tons of leads coming in, yeah, you can be more selective, increase your contract length. But if you're not at that stage yet, which is absolutely fine, I obviously wasn't there for years, go with the shorter shorter contract length is something that I would recommend. And with the longer contract lengths, you know, sometimes it does happen where things still don't work out. It's not perfect. You still can get clients that expected overnight success and it's unrealistic or they're testing a new product, doesn't work out. And you can make a decision on that, whether to let them out the contract early and so have you. But it's really, the, what the longer term contract is, is just shifts the mindset. If you get a client to sign up to an initial three month contract, you're basically saying, I don't really think it's fair to assess the results or the performance or whatever in a time frame that's shorter than three months, which is roughly what I would say is accurate. I mean, yes, you can often demonstrate great work before that and improvements, but sometimes these things take time. So a three month time period is a good amount of time to, to assess how good um, an agency is performing. And, um, and it shifts that mindset. Definitely reduces client volume though. So you need to be in a position where you're generating lots of leads, lots of new clients, I feel, in order to be able to bring in the longer term contract, okay? Now around that, you know, that's basically the, the topic of this video covered, but what I want to mention around, okay, how do you go about getting loads of leads and loads of clients to be able to be in that position to go from the one month initial contract to the three month initial contract? I've got a free resource that's gonna help you out. And that's what's in front of me right now. That's why I've had this screen open this whole time. And it's a free mini series called How to Build and Scale a Facebook Ads Agency. And it walks you through, I think there's six elements to it of various things around, you know, contract lengths, and you'll see me talk about the one month initial contract, um, and proposal documents, how do you put those together, I even give you an example proposal document, how do you price your services, how do you go about getting clients, how do you retain clients, how do you scale, all that sort of stuff is included in this free mini series. So I strongly, strongly recommend you go ahead and download that, there will be a link in the video description, 
or you can just go to leadguru.co.uk, click on this little free resources up on the top right hand side, then select Facebook ads agency mini series. You can come in here and you can go ahead and, and grab that for free. And I think you'll find it tremendously valuable. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going to be producing some more agency related um, content, not exclusively, still, you know, a lot of my stuff's going to be regular Facebook ads related, but I know that a huge amount of my audience do offer Facebook ad services, agency services. So I'm going to produce some more content around that to help you guys out. Um, if, that's, if that's the sort of thing you want, let me know in the comments. Um, that feedback's really helpful. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, best of luck, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.